Everyone, Ian King here with your weekly Winning Investor Daily Update. And this week, Steve and I are gonna be discussing one of the biggest technological revolutions that's happening in every sector. And that, of course, is artificial intelligence and machine learning. And then we've got something really exciting to talk about at the end of this webinar, because Steve has actually been working on this new project with me and we're so excited to share it with you. And we're gonna talk about that at the end of the webinar. But first, Steve, have you ever seen the movie Short Circuit? I have not. Oh, you missed out. I mean, Short Circuit was this movie in the 80s where this robot named Johnny Five escapes from a military base. And, you know, the military is hunting it down and he's this friendly robot. And there's a scene in Short Circuit where the robot rolls up into the library and then just starts reading all the library books. And it teaches itself basically all the information in the library just from going through the books. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because that is essentially how the robots that we think of today, artificial intelligence and machine learning work. A scientist will feed lots of data to an algorithm, which is essentially a robot, and ask it to make predictions, right? I mean, this is how machine learning works, right? Yes, uh, and we see this every day. I mean, you may not even realize it, but um, you know, Google, for example, they built an entire uh, multi-trillion dollar business on you know, using machine learning and artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. and without getting too technical, I mean, we can go on Google and search something, and it takes all the data that ever existed, all the searches that ever existed before and after, and it predicts what we want to know next. And it's it's smarter than I am in terms of finding information. It's pretty, pretty incredible. Right. And, and every company is using machine learning and AI. I mean, Netflix will tell you what they think you will want to watch next. I mean, Amazon will make suggestions on what you should order next. I mean, it's like these websites know us better than our significant others, right? It's kind of funny sometimes. Absolutely. And it predicts. And mm -hmm. that's what we do as stock pickers and as as investors, we predict, you know, what stocks are going to go on to do well or, or do poor. Um, so I think in this industry, investing at least, is prime for, for artificial intelligence. Right. But let's just talk about, so AI and machine learning in the 2020s is basically what's known as a general purpose technology. It's, it's widely available. You know, you, you can access it. Uh, it, it's not something that's uh, scarce or hard to get. And it reminds me basically of the scenario 100 years ago when electricity first started you know, pushing out to uh, Americans. And there was just so much development that was built on top of electricity because then all of a sudden you have these electrical appliances, you get refrigerators in your home. That was the industrial revolution. Now this is the information revolution. The key technology here is machine learning, artificial intelligence. It's going in everything. I mean, your cars will be able to drive themselves because the car can use AI to make predictions on when it should change lanes, what exit it should go out of, what speed it should travel at, when it should break, right? And what's really exciting and something that I wanna share with the viewers now that we've been working on is actually applying this same technology to identify investment opportunities in the market. And I know, I know, you know, when we hired you a couple of years ago, this was always your strength. This is something you've studied and continue to study. So why don't you just, you know, peel back the curtain a little bit and just explain to our viewers this model that you've been working on now uh, and what exactly it does and why it can be so powerful in investing. Sure. So I, I do have a background, like you said, thanks for the introduction. Uh, I, I do have a master's of science in data science from Loyola. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I saw early on the significance of AI in investing. You, know, you see all these quant funds having, uh, you know, 20, 10 years of outstanding returns through bear mm -hmm. markets and bull markets. And you wonder how they do it. And, and it's really all quantitative when it comes down to it. So I set out to really learn that. And um, yeah, obviously I, I wanted to apply that technology to investing and um, without getting too technical, I mean, I take all the data that I can get, you know, the more data, the better, and then you can filter it out and, and find the higher quality stuff. But at the end of the day, I'm looking to predict outcomes and without getting too technical, that's whether a stock will go up or not. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and there's so much information out there, which is why it's impossible for, you know, 
we've got a whole team of researchers here. It's impossible for us to keep on top of everything at once, right? But if you know the right data streams to feed into the algorithm, the algorithm can kind of decipher. I mean, can you give us a good example of you know a trade that you've identified in the past using this type of information and in machine learning? Sure. So it really does well with biotechs, mm -hmm. um, just because when you look at a biotech, you, generally they move in either direction based on whether they have good data or bad data, or if there was an approval. And we, you know, I I don't trade on inside information. I don't have inside information. I, I'm, yeah. But there are people that do, and unfortunately, they move stocks, right? So these are it. That's just one clue that you might be able to pick up on by looking at data. Um, mm -hmm. all of the time. So biotech is great because you can predict whether something is good or bad, basically. It's two, two potential things that can happen. Right. Um, so that's what we really focus on. You know, maybe half of our trades would be biotech. Yeah, I, 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 a friend of mine used to always make the joke uh, in trading in the biotech is like, did the mice live or did the mice die, right? Because all the trials <laughs> start on the mice, whether or not they lived or died. So, you know, I'm really excited about this. I know that you've been working on this. We've been working together on this project. Uh, how can our viewers access this? Like, when is this going to be released? I, I know that you know the date is coming fast. I think next thir next Thursday, I believe, uh, and they can sign up. There's a link below. Uh, please, you know, if you want to hear more about this space, because Steve right here is an expert in it. I'm kind of an old school guy, you know, I always think about the market being like emotional, like are people getting greedy or they fearful, but this takes the emotion out of it. And it basically just identifies catalysts as to whether or not a stock is going to go up or down. I know I don't want to share it with viewers right now, but I know the track record on this is just incredible uh, because it's something that no one else is doing right now. And so that's why I think people are going to want to get on early this. So I mean, Steve, are you excited to to finally get this out there in the wild? Absolutely. I've been waiting to share it. I mean, we, we already have six trades lined up that we'll be releasing uh, when we launch this on Thursday the 31st. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm happy to, if people want to ask questions about strategy, you know, we can take that offline. But yeah, I'm excited to share. Awesome. So please, if you want to hear more about the strategy, it's effectively using machine learning, taking Steve's data science background and applying it to identifying catalysts and winning trades in the market. It's got a great track record over the last couple of years. Check out the link below. You can sign up for it. Uh, and in the meantime, Steve, I know you know you're busy with work and everything. Like that. Maybe you can take a couple of hours this weekend and go watch Short Circuit for the first time. I might be able to squeeze it in. We'll see. Okay, okay. I mean, I don't expect it to because I know you know how busy you usually are on weekends. <laughs> but I'm Ian King. He's Steve Fernandez. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you next week. Take care.